people think I'm lying about everything. People think I lie about my weight. People think that everything I say is a lie. A lot of it is a lie. I'm a terrible person, but there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of truth to what I say too. David, yeah, do, you, do you think uh, there's more pressure on you or more pressure on Levon at this point? Uh, well, what I've learned, you know, life is about growth. You know, like and, and us on here. Uh, arm wrestling is one of our tools for growth. Uh, you know, like we grow, we learn about ourselves through this process of, of tempering ourselves to perform in our sport. And what, what I have discovered is that in terms of pressure, Levon is actually a pussy. He, he actually is. That's what's a little bit sad for me is I said he was not really meaning it. But I've actually discovered that he really actually is. The dude, that it actually makes me a little bit sick. It really does. That a man can be so big and so strong and such a wussy. Like, how do you... And I, I see so much stuff. I see so much stuff about people saying things like they're facts. Do you know who knows the facts? Me. Levon, his translator. The promoters. And that's it. Anytime you ever hear something else, it's very likely bullshit. That dude is the kid, the spoiled kid who took his ball back and he's run away. It's like he didn't get the right piece of cake and he's crying to his mom. And the worst thing is, is his fans are like, oh, you're right, Levon. You should have this piece of cake. You know, no. That dude, that dude is a crybaby and he's a sissy. Yes. He's a hell of an arm wrestler, hell of an arm wrestler. But, um, yeah, I don't, I'm pissed at him. I am. Hmm. Anyways, it was at that point, it was on that phone call that he became angry. He hung up, he removed himself from the chat and he told his, uh, his, uh, translator that he didn't want to speak anymore. And the next time he saw me, he was going to be on the table and he ripped my arm off. That's the truth. And, Believe me, believe me, if you can't handle being called a pussy for, for doing that, then you are a pussy. That's what you are. I don't care if you're 415 pounds and you're big, bad dude, you are a pussy. That's what you are. So, you know, here I am stuck, you know, like, I mean, what the fuck do I do with this guy? Uh, I, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know. Listen. I've heard all sorts of stuff. I heard he wants to hurt me. I've heard like the thing is you talk, you talk about rules like and borders like okay he's like oh in my culture you don't call someone a pussy that's crossing the line. Motherfucker, you don't fucking casually give someone death threats in my culture, okay? That's something that I'm not really cool with. You know, like you can call me a pussy, sure, whatever, we can talk about it. You start to say that people get killed for something. Yeah, I got issues there. I got some serious issues with anyone casually mentioning that they want to kill me. Um, so, so, yeah, we'll see if he wants to kill me. We'll see if he wants to hurt me. Because if any of those things are true, oh, this is going to change in a hurry. Like, it's going to change in a freaking hurry. Um, I'm assuming that a lot of that is just talk and that maybe there's something culturally that I'm not understanding. Like maybe in Georgia, it's cool to tell people you're going to kill them. Maybe they're like, I don't know, maybe that's pussy talk for us. But, um, dude, in Canada, we don't, we don't really tell each other that we're going to kill people, especially people that we're not really close with. But I know that people actually care more about the story and the lead up and the drama than they actually do the match. It's I'm, I'm sorry. It's the we truth. We literally just it's, it, it's the, it, unfortunately, and and it's <laughs> not for arm wrestling. We're not unique. We're not special. It's the truth to every single sport. If you got guys who legit like have back and forth meaningful dialogue and it doesn't have to be people yelling at each other just any kind of back and forth where where the fans can start to you know be like okay this guy's this this guy stands for this oh, yeah, i'm more like this guy oh i hate this guy i hate this guy yeah. you know then then it it it's 
growth. When you look at legendary moments in sports, you know, there's obviously there's sporting moments that will live forever. Hmm. There is also sporting stories that live forever. There's sporting trash talks that live forever. If you got rid of every single thing that Muhammad Ali ever said in a press conference, God, yes. What 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 Muhammad Ali story are you looking at? Mate, the thriller in Manila, the rumble in the jungle. These are all right. uh, yeah, and you and how many docudrama films you, you see now where it charts that and now you know 40 years later people are still massively engaged in this stuff. Where and they Muhammad know Ali the is a hell of a boxer. And ultimately mm-hmm. it's because he's such a good boxer that it really matters. But like we cannot undervalue the discussion, the lead up, the back and forth, the you know, anyways, I'm hoping that Levon will take the, you know, whatever. He might not get it before the match. Maybe he'll turn, maybe, maybe he'll have like an epiphany or something. But I'm hoping that after a month or so, he just it, it's growth for him. That's what I hope. 